Here are two ghost experience part two, proudly present by nightmare horror addict. Grandpa pays a visit. The lady in the color photo is my granny. She lived on her own until age 94, when her mind started to weaken and had to be moved to an assisted living home for her own safety. At the end of the first week, there was a picnic for the residents and their families. My mother and sister attended. My sister took two pictures that day, and this is one of them. It was taken on Sunday, August 17, 97, and we think the man behind her is my grandpa who passed away on Sunday, August 14, 84. We did not notice the man in the picture until Christmas Day, 2000. Granny had since passed away while browsing through some loose family photos at my parents' house. My sister thought it was such a nice picture of Granny that she even made a copy for Mom. But still, nobody noticed the man behind her for over three years. When I arrived at my parents' house that Christmas day, my sister handed me the picture and said, Who do you think this man behind Granny looks like? It took a few seconds for it to sink in. I was absolutely speechless. The black and white photos show that it really looked like him. Uncle's picture. My story is about strange happenings involves a photograph. This happened two years ago. I was alone in the house, having a cup of coffee in front of the TV. I have a table in my living room with several framed photos of relatives. This table was far away from me. There was no one in the room, not even my cats, apart from me. All of a sudden one of these photos fell and crashed on the glass table without anybody touching it. It gave me a shock. I got up and put it together, as the glass came out of it. In this photograph was my dead grandmother. My father, also dead, and my aunt and uncle when they were little. I assumed it was my dad and my grand coming to say hello. So I said hello mentally and try to put the whole episode at the back on my mind. Although a nagging thought was in my mind, why did that happen? Why now? The photograph had been in its place for many years. Everything always happens for a reason. Anyway, two weeks went past, and then I received a call from my aunt telling me my uncle was dead. The one in the photo. My uncle had been separated from his wife for many years and he went to live in South America and didn't have much contact with the rest of the family. So no one in the, the family knew he was dead. He had died about two weeks earlier of a heart attack. The people at the consulate had to go through his papers and found a contact address. A letter from my aunt, and got in touch with her to tell her he had died. At the time the photo crashed on the table he had died and nobody knew. Was this his way to attract attention to himself, or to say goodbye? Too much of a coincidence, don't you think? Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel to get notified when we get new fantastic video.